Today is day 8 of the Month Machine 2013. In today's video, we'll be adjusting the grid size of a pattern. Because Machine does not feature a typical audio timeline, it relies very heavily on the grid more so than most DAWs. When you create patterns in step or control mode, even if they are not quantized, those beats will be placed somewhere onto the grid. For that reason, it's really important to know how to manipulate the grid. By default, the grid is set to 1 16th notes. That means that every bar will essentially be divided into 16 slices, or notes. There are 16 pads on the machine controller, so by default, there would be one pad for every 16 steps in the bar. To change the grid size, simply hold down the grid button, then you can go ahead and use the pads to change the grid length, which you can see the options up at the top. You can also use these buttons here, or these buttons here. We're going to go ahead and choose 1 32nd. Now when you change the grid size, the notes that you've already placed down on the grid won't change in length. Really all they'll be doing is taking up more or less space. When the grid was set to 1 16th, each of those kick drum notes took up only one slice. Now that we've had that, those kick drum notes take up two slices, but really they play for the same amount of time as they did before. Depending on what grid size you choose to use, sequencing patterns in step mode on the controller may work differently. For example, we're using a grid that is smaller than 1 16th, but of course we only have 16 pads on the controller. Now if we go to step mode, you'll see that the bar is essentially split in half. To go between the first and second half, we can use buttons 7 and 8 to go between them. The opposite is true for a grid size that is larger than 1 16th. In this case, you'll be using fewer than 16 pads. So now if we go and switch the grid mode to 1 8th, you'll see that it only uses the first 8 pads on the controller. And if we went to something like 1 4th, you'd see that it goes to only the first 4 pads on the controller. Now that you know how to adjust the grid size in Native Instruments Machine, you can spend more time working on the finer details of the sample lengths that you're using. For more machine tutorials, click on the link below in the video description or visit thedjpodcast.com.